It isn't enough to talk about peace. One must believe in it. And it isn't enough to believe in it. One must work at it. I once had a rose named after me and I was very flattered. But I was not pleased to read the description in the catalog, no good in a bed, but fine up against a wall. Sometimes I wonder if we shall ever grow up in our politics and say definite things which mean something, or whether we shall always go on using generalities to which everyone can subscribe, and which mean very little. Freedom makes a huge requirement of every human being. With freedom comes responsibility. For the person who is unwilling to grow up, the person who does not want to carry his own weight, this is a frightening prospect. Probably the happiest period in life most frequently is in middle age, when the eager passions of youth are cooled, and the infirmities of age not yet begun, as we see that the shadows, which are at morning and evening so large, almost entirely disappear at midday. You gain strength, courage, and confidence by every experience in which you really stop to look fear in the face. You are able to say to yourself, I lived through this horror. I can take the next thing that comes along. When life is too easy for us, we must beware or we may not be ready to meet the blows which sooner or later come to everyone, rich or poor. In all our contacts, it is probably the sense of being really needed and wanted which gives us the greatest satisfaction and creates the most lasting bond. You can never really live anyone else's life, not even your child's. The influence you exert is through your own life and what you've become yourself. You have to accept whatever comes and the only important thing is that you meet it with courage and with the best that you have to give. One's philosophy is not best expressed in words, it is expressed in the choices one makes, and the choices we make are ultimately our responsibility. I believe that anyone can conquer fear by doing the things he fears to do, provided he keeps doing them until he gets a record of successful experience behind him. Since you get more joy out of giving joy to others, you should put a good deal of thought into the happiness that you are able to give. Friendship with oneself is all important, because without it one cannot be friends with anyone else in the world. Remember always that you not only have the right to be an individual, you have an obligation to be one. A woman is like a tea bag, you can't tell how strong she is until you put her in hot water. Do what you feel in your heart to be right for you'll be criticized anyway. You'll be damned if you do, and damned if you don't. I think, at a child's birth, if a mother could ask a fairy godmother to endow it with the most useful gift, that gift should be curiosity. I cannot believe that war is the best solution. No one won the last war, and no one will win the next war. I think, at a child's birth, if a mother could ask a fairy godmother to endow it with the most useful gift, that gift should be curiosity. A little simplification would be the first step toward rational living, I think. Great minds discuss ideas, average minds discuss events, small minds discuss people. I have spent many years of my life in opposition, and I rather like the role. The only things one can admire at length are those one admires without knowing why. <laughs>